Hey, how's it going everyone? It is only here. Welcome back to another video course as always. Some pretty exciting news today, some pretty exciting rumors, and if all goes to plan, we could be looking at a pretty exciting fall, so let's just jump right into it. I want to start with some official news. Sony did drop some information on the PS5 today. They released actually a new ad for the PS5, kind of like their first marketing in terms of like tv spots pretty much they're starting up the marketing plan as we kind of kind of predicted this you know we're three months out from the console's release they really got to start kicking this thing into high gear at least for the casual audience so most likely in the weeks to come in the months to come we're going to be start seeing these ads the trailer they just debuted today is actually one that's going to be focusing on 3d audio the adaptive triggers and the haptic feedbacks all found in the dual sense um there was a pretty interesting blog post that actually went live with this ad detailing why they're focusing on these key features and a lot of it comes down to obviously things like this generation is going to see the biggest jump in terms of how games feel and hear more so than graphically and i think that kind of speaks for itself i mean if you look back at that june event a lot of the stuff that was kind of praised there and promised are coming with stuff that we can't really see right now because quite frankly we don't have a dual sense we can't try it out for ourselves given the nature of covid so I'm going to link it down in the description below. Pretty good read there. They actually have a lot of cool information on specific titles there that will be using the dual sense. Things like Death Loop, Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, Sackboy even. And yeah, I guess I'll go over a few of them right here that I found interesting. I think the one I found the most interesting is actually with Death Loop, you know, obviously the game from Arcane that just recently got delayed until Q2. They said that physically you won't even have to realize if your gun is being jammed visually because you're going to feel it in the dual sense. Pretty much the adaptive triggers are actually going to lock on you, meaning you can't press down on them. Obviously, meaning you're not going to be able to shoot. I'm guessing, obviously, you can still aim, use L2, but the R2 button will be completely stiff. It'll be completely just locked in place, not able to be used, which I think is pretty interesting, honestly. I could totally see a lot of people just freaking out when that first happens to them and, and thinking their controller is broken. I will say, though, that is pretty interesting. I want to see how this kind of works in practice because you know there are some concerns with this obviously things like power outages if like obviously your power goes out when it's in that kind of mode I'm guessing there's gonna be like fail safes in mind just in case that kind of shit happens um, but yeah really cool technology nonetheless Demon Souls got some pretty good information talking about you know feeling the weight and the force behind boss attacks when you block at the right time things like pulling down the levers and the sensation you get with that man I can't even imagine it's gonna be pretty cool so I think one of my personal favorite ones actually had to come from Miles Morales. They're talking about one of the hold square moves, pretty much the Venom Strike, and they talked about the electricity that comes with it. The actual move you start feeling out on the left side of the controller as it crackles over to the right. I just think that's pretty neat, honestly. So if you guys have been following the channel, you know that we have had a rumor for the past few weeks here talking about, you know, possibly an alleged other PS5 launch title that hasn't really been announced yet or confirmed by Sony and it looks like that might be Demon Souls which if true would be insane. I kind of find this one funny because before we even had the PS5 event I always figured that Ratchet and Clank and Demon Souls were going to be launch titles. It just made sense to me. Ratchet and Clank would be like the knack kind of title and Demon Souls would be kind of like that game for the hardcore audience. And obviously Ratchet and Clank seems to be 2021 since Insomniac's busy on their other title, Miles Morales, for this fall. It looks like we might be getting Demon Souls after all. So pretty much what happened is Demon Souls was raided in South Korea and in Japan, which is pretty interesting. So yeah, I want to pull up a cool tweet here from Jimatsu. They actually went back into other Sony exclusives and kind of gave context as to what this could mean. And pretty much every console exclusive from Sony in the past year or two that has gotten a rating like this has come out within two to four months after getting that rating. So obviously if you do the math here, we're looking like Demon Souls might actually come out this year if we're following this trend. Now before we go all crazy over this rumor and get excited, I do want to bring up another point by Imran Khan. He actually replied to a fan asking him what this could mean on Twitter, Imran Khan obviously being pretty in the know. He was formerly at Game Informer and now works at Kinda Funny. He said that he doubts that this is the case due to COVID reasons, but he doesn't think it's off the table. He's always heard that this game has been targeting launch slash launch window, so... Yeah, it does seem like this game will be coming out, if not at launch, within the first few months of the game's release. After the PS5 event, I kind of figured it would be in the first few months of 2021. I figured, obviously, if they were going to come out at like launch, that we would have gotten a date at the event. But now that I'm kind of starting to realize this, I kind of have a theory here. So if you look back at that PS5 event, pretty much every single game there, first party wise from Sony, didn't have a release date on it. Like none of them did. Only third party games like Resident Evil 8 and some of the Capcom titles did. Literally. 
no first party game besides Miles Morales got a release window now immediately some people might think oh due to COVID they don't want to give a date and I do think that actually is really possible I think that probably could be the case but I also have a different theory I feel like Marvel might have wanted the release date to be out there that's just a personal theory of mine obviously Marvel wanting to have that kind of out there for fans to have that to look forward to for the end of the year Sony meanwhile probably wanted to keep a lot more stuff you know closer to their chest so yeah we could be seeing a case where we get Miles Morales and Demon Souls what I believe is honestly Sony is going to have some kind of event here or some kind of PR announcement within the next few weeks here I do believe it will be an event because I feel like with the price and release date they're going to want to show off some more of you know the upcoming titles I feel like an event showcasing the UI the price the release date and then also some more gameplay on you know the games that are coming up here and giving confirmed release dates over them i think that totally is reasonable to expect within the next few weeks here i'm personally hoping we get something next week there are some pretty cool announcements coming next week in terms of jeff Keeley's, you know gamescom one night live as well as call of duty seems to be finally getting its full reveal of black ops cold war so yeah let's hope that sony speaks out my current theory honestly is i think if we don't get anything next week at the very end of august we're definitely going to get something in the first week of September. I don't see any situation going where we get to middle of September and we still don't have pre-orders for the PS5. Like, that's insane. Yeah, you can't imagine that Sony wants to have, you know, pre-orders out there. They want to definitely get as many people pre-ordering the system as they can. And I feel like they want to get that out there sooner than later. So I do want to add that on top of Demon's Souls getting a rating in Korea, that also uh, Miles Morales did. So yeah, two PS5 games got rated in Korea. And one of them seems to be a launch title, and the other one possibly might be as well. So that's pretty exciting. And yeah, that would probably make it easily the best launch of any PlayStation console for me personally. And any system I can really think of besides maybe the Switch of Breath of the Wild. Like Demon's Souls and Miles Morales at launch would be insane. So yeah, I guess that's been it for today's video. Just a lot of exciting stuff. Of course, you know, next generation hype is pretty big. I'm really personally can't wait to see, you know, how this comes into fruition. I really hope Demon Souls comes out at launch because personally actually I'd say that Demon Souls might be my most anticipated launch title up there with Horizon and Ratchet honestly so yeah I love me some good from software games and Demon Souls looks great. Yeah with that being said make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new here for all the next generation goodness going into this fall. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at AlanLineZHD and yeah I appreciate you for making it through the whole entire video. As always a like would be appreciated and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.